Hello friends, it's Angelina and Dima here from Walking Nature World and for today's trail we are back again to the Guadalest Valley, one of the most charming places in the Alicante geography. The last time we visited and did the Guadalest town tour, we felt like the area around is a privileged natural environment and it deserves coming back here and doing several more hikes. One of the hikes would be our climb to the Xorta mountain range, to the castle ruins and the other trail we are doing today is a circular hike, windy around the turquoise waters of Guadalest Reservoir and visiting one picturesque town on the way. It's going to be a 11.5 km hike suitable for everybody. So let's get started with it. starting to walk this trail in the anti-clockwise direction so first we're going to walk on the left side of the lake and some interesting facts about this reservoir we're walking along is that it began operating in 1963 and had a capacity of 13 billion liters which seems like a lot actually but it is important to make a sustainable use of this great reserve of water which everybody knows that in Alicante is a scarce resource Now as we are walking we can clearly see why it is considered this area considered a jewel in Alicante region because it is sheltered on all sides by some of the most emblematic mountain ranges in the province of Alicante such as Serra de Itana on one side and then Serreia and Xorta on the other side behind me as you can see I don't know if you are going to be able to spot it but we're going to climb one of these mountain ranges actually and we want to see how the views are going to be from above there we think it's going to be epic so yeah stay tuned for the next episode of Guadalest Valley It is crazy how different can be the climates at the coast and here in the mountains and just 20 kilometers away we can see here lots of humidity, some puddles and even ice. On the nearby mountains we can see the snow and it's fascinating how different this ecosystem is. We think that the unique terrain and landscapes formed this kind of climate. That's why there you can see so much greenery around, lots of pine trees and bushes and, and the grass, you know. It's even reminiscent to us to Pyrenees in, you know, in autumn or spring. 
now the weather is nice it's february but it's like plus 12 degrees celsius right so it's very very nice and very comfortable to walk We're coming to the crossroads, which leads us to the town Meniarda, which should be like a cute small village on the top of the hill. And we gotta do a bit of an uphill to it. So most of the trail we've done so far was quite flat, going very close to the riverbank. And now we're getting higher up on the next level. And yeah, visiting the town and then continue on following around the lake. just crossed the small bridge over the river Guadalest with the proper name of the reservoir the Guadalest and now we'll continue walking on the other side of it 
which we think can be a little bit of a different trail. We did through the ravines of Reservoir. We'll see how it goes, but we're pretty sure it's gonna be beautiful. During all the hike we've been enjoying a lot walking close to this turquoise emerald waters and it was very cool to observe this contrast of the multicolored pine trees, olive trees, almond trees and this like turquoise emerald waters and this is a really beautiful spectacle and we think the light creamy color terrain makes this turquoise color even brighter but it is very cool. stretch of six kilometers we think we've done already three out of them and this second part seems to be mostly pavement actually entirely pavement road in contrast to the other side which was the gravel you know dirt roads it feels a little bit different of course but it's not challenging at all again like you can walk it very easily with not much elevation gain or change and so yeah you have like partly shadow partly open parts walking close to the fields of the olive trees and almond trees and also again like lots of pine trees around which is very pleasant and you have lots of chirping of the birds all around and yes we expected before the flow of the river Guadalas has many ravines that we have to overcome that's why the trail is more winding around like in zigzagging mode when we have to go forward and backwards then so it makes this part of the trail longer but it's still very picturesque where around lots of mountain ranges kind of hugged in them from all the sides and it feels very cozy and home-like we like it a lot yeah have been enjoying it of the circular trail around the Guadalest Reservoir and we can be happier about it. The Guadalest is the valley where nature, culture and traditions have been preserved throughout centuries and you feel it with every step that you do. The route was of an easy level, suitable for everybody, with no much elevation change at all. And you can do the hike in any direction, clockwise or anti-clockwise. It will make for an excellent trail either way. And it can be done for any season, winter or summer, because you have a lot of shade, walk through, you won't be influenced by the sun much. 
So we can highly recommend this trail for you guys to do. As always, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed doing this hike with us and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking videos and gear reviews. Let us know in the comments below, would you like to visit this valley or have you ever visited it and what do you think of it? I'd be curious to know. And that is all for today, guys. We'll see you very soon in our next video. Bye. Bye.